Greetings everyone, and Grade here for another Comfy Heroes 1 replay. Spawn top left side as the unhappy uh, Panzer player. We have Vogavon. Go tier 4 again, I dare you. <laughs> Maybe he got defeated at the previous game. Either way, versus the US forces, we have Shayeti 13. <clears throat> The Panzer League player has not stuck the doctrine no, just yet. That. Knit this time. I guess that meant not. I and O next to each other. Engineer is heading straight for this fuel point. He may be eyeing for a bit of a Greyhound rush if he's going straight at fuel point. We do have a barracks on the field. Likely our riflemen on the way. Could be a Jeep. Two Panzer Grenadiers not pulled out. No. Oh, we got additional Captain Grad now. This map does have quite a bit of distance, especially in this part of the map, the northeastern side of the map. So you do have to, the faster mobility of the Cat and Grads can be quite nice for that purpose. Pines Grandiers, as well as the Pines Grandiers, now pushing away forward, getting attention to the engineers. Only one man is defending himself, and the entire squad is now withdrawing. Sees a fuel point being captured, being aggressively, has been aggressively been captured, so he'd probably eye to stop that. He is not eyeing to stop that. Reference squad moving around, maybe eye for some heavy cover here. Granted, they actually don't see each other at the moment. You can tell when not if he spots the squad if, he, if you see the decorator above its head, which it is not. Times Grandier is eyeing to capture this, or decapture this fuel point. So the second cannon grad does capture the left side of the map and probably won't start off the fuel point. Eye for the missions, then the fuel, then the missions. Or maybe go to the 10 missions point here before going to the 5 and then the fuel. Either way, we've got the rifle squad kept the fuel point. Engineers, I to capture the munitions point. Kenan Grad kept this fuel point. Third, Pounds Grenadier and Outpour deployed on the field. I've secured the objective. We do have the rifle squad pushing the way forward. Ready to execute orders. Does get some damage there onto the Kenan Grad. Pounds Grenadier finding some light cover there. The Opal Blitz here only applies to light cover, unlike in computers too. Rapid Squad getting knocked around quite a bit, does pick up one of the models there. Got additional Panzer Grenadier Squad getting overran from the Rapid Squad, drops two models there, just one leads one man there. For a garrison, there's three women inside, perfect for our fully manned Panzer Grenadier. There's not a fully manned Panzer Grenadier inside that garrison. That's because of good damage here, he's going to stick it out. Trying to stall out Panzer Grenadier Squad G43 does not get inside the garrison. Rifleman does on the side of the garrison. There's two windows. He's backing on off. Does take a bit of damage there. Oh, here got the engineers kept to this point. Rifleman Squad moving around. Wounded. And in grad. Slightly wounded. And now got the Panzer Grenadier Squad who's seen the damage. Going two windows side. Not a great spot to fight from. Does drop a model there. Over here, got this rock squad for forward, captain of the fuel point. Depot. And now got the munition sector being captured on up. Heading grad receiving bit damage there by the engineers. They're starting to fall back now. Pines Grandiers do fully pin the rifle squad here. The rifle squad with three members advance this way forward. We probably should focus on this guy since it's nice and close. The Yankees are grabbing our territory. And now the rifle squad does force back the Pines Grandiers, and the fuel point is being decaptured once again. Cannon Grab moving around, no doctrine still selected. Cannon Grab moving around with minimal health. He may want to fall back at that repaired on up. Have upgraded defensive operations. Defense operations has now been pulled on the field. The Needs quite a bit of healing now, there, barring this guy. He could throw all these guys onto the structure to help build it up. Maybe not this fully healed one who's bringing up good G43s. I'm not sure though if putting all those guys will actually help greatly improve the build speed. In Computers 2, there is actually a setting to maximum. To limit the maximum number of models who actually can help build a structure, and by default, that is eight. Go ahead, sir. Ready to move. 
I'm not sure there's that same setting automatically applied in Company Rose 1. Blame Engineers getting the sauerkraut extra crispy the here. It does get out of the garrison. It does fall back there. Cannon Grad does explode. Rifle squad pushing its way forward. Over here, Cannon Grad passing some damage, falling back. With this Cannon Grad now destroyed, you can use a working to get to recover it. And now we've got this Rifle Squad now falling back. Rifle Squad we've seen a bit of damage here. Rifle Squad decaptured this munitions sector. And this Rifle Squad does get fully pinned or suppressed. And Squad is flanking around, trying to get some more damage to another Rifleman, and this Rifle Squad does fall back. Oh, look at that rifleman squad. It is really, f it's doing a lot of flinching upon retreat. Either way, now the rifle squad is full of drawing. And the engineers I am for a good number of tank traps. And good number is three. And 50% of the way covered. I am for a bit of wire over here. He really wants this area wired off, so he can't, his one can't really traverse this area. We are losing a munitions depot. Build complete. Squad, dress up for move. Hello, mines. Oh, hello, mines. Hello, mines have been sold, which means the Panzer League player has gone for Tank Hunter. You can now see the stuff load on the back, the repair equipment. Kenny Grad, of course, can't repair him, so. Rifle Squad is off to record. One of the best you one. These Rifle Squads are severely wounded. Take quite a bit of damage here by another Rifle Squad here. He has a number of models to firing. There's three models on this side. Got three models firing up to this over here as well. So he's have all six models firing at the moment. This Pencil Peter is taking that damage there. Those tag up this guy. There's multiple units to side him fire from. Another Rifle Squad pushing his way forward. Five models here, so maybe a decent idea to go inside this garrison. There's three windows on each side. Now we do have a fresh 2 to 2. One man squad does fall back. Can of grad charge, or not can of grad, 2 to 2 charges way forward. Gain some auto cannon fire there. I don't know why, this music I just don't hear in multiplayer all too often. Am I crazy? Or at least in the replays? It does reverse into the wire there. It does short the wire there. Very nice. So now the Panzer Grenadiers can traverse in the reason, region. Because I don't remember hearing that, that original ding, that soundtrack, all too often. That's what really threw me off. Mirror Sector now being captured on up. We got this rifle squad moving around. The this rifle squad is severely damaged to the dudes, which way forward. Doing some damage onto that rifleman. Another 2 to 2 now blown on the field. Flame Engineers charge his way forward. Flame Engineers does fall back. Flame Engineers may get wiped out. Flame Engineers do not get wiped out. And the Rock Squad sinks some damage, but the Panzer Engineers need to fall back sooner than later as well. Down one last model. Rock Squad falling back. He could try running him down, but he's not just proper pursuing. The Rock Squad is not seeing some auto cannon fire as well. Over here, we've got these rifle squads pushing way forward. We are losing ground. Howdy. <laughs> Thanks. I could have, like, um, song I hear quite a bit in the campaign, but not necessarily in multiplayer. Oh, what exploded? Ah, just the Hellcat charging its way forward. There is a Teller Mine here. The two could, if you reverse moves over here, he may draw them to the Teller Mine. He was not, was not quick enough to draw. Blitz the way around. He's going to try to bring him to the Tala Mine as well. He's paying close enough attention. He may have seen the Kitten Grad uh, animator set for the re repair engineers. He did go for tier 4. Flame Shares decapped in that fuel point. Or the VP, I should say. Mortar Half Track now pulled on the field. He may have should have cancelled that Mortar Half Track. 
because of seeing that uh, Hellcat. Let's go for the Panzer Sport Command, eyeing for the YATF track. He could try for a martyr, but doesn't get martyred. Fuel point, or not fuel point, BP fully captured. It fuels victory. That's what we'll go with that. Yes, it was always a fuel point. Light ATF track now being deployed on Elm. Flame engineers do receive a damage. Hello, Cap pushes his way forward. Gain some hits there on to the 222s. Kind of grab falling back as minimal health slow, but he can repair up the 22 himself. One half track, maybe trying to hit here. Nope, he hit the Hellcat. Does get a good hit there on the 222. And also, without the lack of a coaxial, it's actually the coaxial could help him blink, blink down these other units. Alright, AT half track now pulling field. He may want to eye for another AT source. Light half track's are nice and all, but they're more of a support rather than hard counter. Oh. Mine does not go down. Does take the flame changes, looks like, with the mortar, I believe. 2 to 2 has taken some damage there. Telamine was bad. At oh! Finds the Telamine now. Destroyed engine crit. Light TF track gets the kill there. Light TF track needs a fall back. Panzer. The indomitable Hetzer tank is now available. AT Hetzer are now available, but at this one time, he does not need one. Maybe he can hold off and not deploying it until he sees another tank on the field. And now there's no music playing. The Panzer player has quite a bit of manpower. No real munitions amount. No, very little fuel as well. I wonder if there's more Teller mines on the field I'm not aware of. I see any more wire there either way let's switch over to the u.s player who has a massive deserve missions no no doctrine i'm pretty sure he has enough command points to have already selected a doctrine he's going for another hellcat maybe at this point in time armor he knows about the Tello mines, however, and field repair is very useful for that. He's destroying his own carcass. A can or a burgundy can't recover a Hellcat. And there goes the carcass. Flame Machines do get pinned down by the G43s. Does break through some wire there. Reference squads pushing away forward. This kind of does have one level of efficiency available. Rifle squad maybe eyeing to get in the garrison? Nope, it's not. He may not have access to sticky bombs moment. He does have access to another Hellcat. Does have supply yard level one upgrade. I think he should have more than three, almost four command points at the moment. Garrison to his opponent. I mean, he does have only the Hetzer on the field. That's what, about four command points? A Telemine to Hetzer? I also don't know the exact command point amount, so maybe the US player just has not selected the Doctrine just yet. No, he has plenty of munitions for any of the US Doctrines. All the US Doctrines have a good munition sink. He does have four riflemen. Maybe worth to go for some bars. Or maybe grenades, the amount of munitions have. Munitions would allow them to spam out grenades. At least sticky bombs, that's for sure. Get your kid form up. He only has one flame engineer on the field. He maybe want to go for a minesweeper on this guy. Motor pool being put on the field, likely for a M1 AT gun. Which largely leads me to believe he's not going for airborne. Rifle and squad receiving some free damage. Like 
Firefly moving around, flame engineers in tow. The pencil player does have quite a bit of forces on the field. The US player has a small number. Pencil player, if whenever just look at the minimap on his side, that's a lot of stuff. Flame engineers straight forward. Mortar half track gets a good mortar. Drive squad's forced to fall on back. Does get another kill there. That could have been just a casualty though. Driving squad is falling back. Pentagoners is moving around. And another tunnel mine there. Very nice. And now there's music blaring. Here I'll send the course to float on the field. Gain some good health regen. Up north, I heard Minesweeper Engineers. Of course, they won't win this fight. Falls back now. Doesn't take any model losses there. Alicat pushes way forward. Ragman squads in tow. Light ATF trap there in the ATF, sir. Crit shot. A short inch and crit. Maybe Feudal Bear could be useful. Fully mobilized, ATF Sir and Hellcat now brawling it out. He does have access to Feud Repair. He needs to activate Feud Repair. He's probably going to lose a Hellcat. Uh, ain't gonna destroy a crit there. And goes down. No sticky bombs. AT gun set on up. Or has been pulled on out, not set on up. US place has one command or victory point over here. We do have the rifle and squad inside the garrison, but getting mortared by the mortar half track. Hellcat now plowed on the field. We do have the 2 2 push his way forward. Does even AT gun shot there. Either puts away. May get receive another shot. Does not receive another shot there. AT Hetzer does send a round. Fresh Hellcat to on the field. Does roll a bounce there on the AT Hetzer. Hellcat having trouble moving his way forward. Light ATF track engaging the rifleman squad. We still got the 2 2 here. Blitzed. Hellcat pushes his way forward. Does get a shot there onto the Hellcat. Sent a bounce there onto AT Edser. One rifle squad falls on the back. Engineers eye for the garrison along with the rifle squad. That's probably too many guys in that garrison. Does get a bounce on the Hellcat as well as a miss. Flame engineers firing away. Minesweeper needs to run away. Red squad pushes way forward. Resident squad squad's falling back. Still don't know if he has access to sticky bombs. Going for another Hellcat now. Right now, manpower is biggest issue. He does have course supply yard level one. Munitions point under attack. Rifle squad engaging these forces, keeping his distance now. Good hit there on the squads. Trying to barrage on the mortar. It does fall back there. Two Hellcats down the field. Got some sporadic wire here, but does manage to get uh, squeeze its way through, which is something you really don't want to do around razor wire. After all, squeezing through razor wire means you get cut up quite a bit. Rocket squad does fall back there. Hellcat trying to get some hits on the STG squad. Down here, we got these horses pushing way forward. some more rounds over here. Rifle squads right forward. Hetzer is taking some shots. 
Hand grenades to get outside the garrison. Posts report we are losing a sector. Okay, number of US infantry just charging our way forward. Hellcat in reserve. And 180 gun needs to start to push his way forward to start warding out the hell the uh headsers. On the Hellcat. We've got fuel repair not active. He needs to make sure he's focused firing or else he will get out to repair the damage. He needs some da damage on this guy. Focus down this guy now. So it's hard to hit pick with both. And when he took up straight four, got some two dude flanking around. I still don't know if he has access to sticky bombs. I don't see any sticky bombs on this guy here yet. What Hellcat does go down. He gets her receiving some damage. Another AT he gets her just make his way forward. Get back to see one there. And this Hellcat will go down, does get a pen there, may get a short crit there. Starting to fall back there, Rock Squad and Engineers making the report, does pin down the one man flame engineers. And when he can have this hit down the AT answer, but does not get a pen. Still no sticky bombs. Looks like that one Hellcat does manage to fall back while the unit is getting picked away. Does get one of the headsters there with the M1 AT gun. Just needs a fall back for right now. That's a special save one, but has very little health remaining. Now here I got the another flanking AT headser. All cats still falling back. And now it's gonna simply sit on the right there. one. Some hits there on the rifleman. Another the Hellcat pull on the field, though it may interrupt the repairs of the engineers. Rifle squad taking some damage. Hexman is decapturing the VP. Right now, the US player does have slight advantage. As plenty of missions for more field repairs. And maybe a good idea to mix in some Sherman tanks. Field repairs do combo well with uh, Sherman tanks, being a bit more beefy. And able to hit the infantry just as well. If it's just trying to get the rear armor, Sherman tanks and Hellcats are. We'll freeze all that, though Hellcat's a bit more maneuverable. Hellcat's, of course, a little bit better going to the front. Extra push way forward. He may want to push for the Hellcat a little bit to try crushing some of these models. Try to get a shot there. Does not get shot there. Flame engineers do get pinned. Right from the squad, so just it's there. Does roll a miss there. Rock Hellcat receiving some damage. Rock Squad from the floor, trying to get some sticky bombs onto the mortar half track. Yeah, the Rifle Squad is being annihilated right there. Hellcat needs to fall back. Severely wounded. He is much to see one there. Rifle Squad still getting more fire. Good chance he will lose a squad entirely at the current rate. Hellcat still quite wounded. Or a sir. Hellcat charges away forward. Receives more pens there. Hellcat goes down to the light AT half track. We may see a crit shot here. Gets a crit shot. Destroyed and crit. Not rotates gun around. Gets a pen there. Fully mobilized. Still fully mobilized. And goes down to the AT half sir. AT half. AT trying to get some shots there on the AT half sir. Rock Squad getting annihilated there. Does get a bounce out of the head sir. Rock from Squad does go down. It's a pressure C2 AT gun. Very useful. And the gun itself is taking some hits. And there goes the light ATF track. Enemy unit down. They want to follow that guy back to the triage center, get healed up and reinforced. Doesn't want to lose better than AT guns. It looks like he's very close to getting out a Pershing or in the manpower. The Panzer player has little manpower, little munitions, plenty of fuel. 
Going for the faster capturing speed, not wanting to get Panthers when you have Hatsers. Kampkorpe Grenadiers, your capturing speed has increased. Port HQ now pulled out here. Very nice. The enemy remains strong with 300 points. You know, this still has plenty of VPs to work with, and long game goes on, he can bring in more Pershings and Calliopes. When the long game goes on, he can bring in more Hetzers. He's been maintaining good consumption of munitions. Tank hunters tend to have a bit more higher munitions floats. They don't, don't have a big, massive munition sinks. So there may be tunnel mines everywhere, but I just haven't seen any. STG squad gets good damage there on the rifle and squad. Rifle squad not falling back. And the rifle squad does not escape on out there. Flame machines do get pinned. And the rifle squad falls back as well. Rapid squad is suppressed here, and now we do also have a fresh Pershing. Okay, two may go down. The coaxial and pit mount may take him out. Oh, down the teller mine. Rapid squad is suppressed. This guy, you guys right there. Our comrades report the enemy has destroyed a vehicle. And 2 2 does go down. Field repair is now active. Just a damn engine crit, not a crit or a destroyed engine. Or mobilized, I should say. Does get hit there on the Pershing. Pershing crawling away. Hexer on the flank. And one ET gun covering the per Pershings. His mission C2. He's getting hit there on the Pentrix squad. Pershing just keep crawling his way back. We see more fire. Has plenty of health to work with. But that needs to change. His spear mortars is trying to burn the M1 ET gun a little bit. Pershing has very little health in that remaining. Get a pair active once again. The enemy has cut down the infantry unit. Four Pentagoniers remain, and one may get more shots here. Does not get any shots there. Americans are seizing territory from us. And I still don't know if the US player has access to sticky bombs just yet. I don't think he does actually. Because if he had access to sticky bomb, he would have charged forward and tried to get a sticky bomb on that Hetzer. Rapid Squad trying to capture his fuel point, or not fuel point, victory point, to fuel his victory. Pentagon Airs do fall back there. Pershing gets some shots. Still pinching crit there, gets a bit hit there on the Pentagon Deer. Confirm readiness. Achtung, the enemy is impacting Kampfkoppelier's victory points. Steady up, squad. Our supply lines Attention. are broken. The enemy advances out of supply. Hands Grenadiers pushing their way forward. And they do fall back now. The two try to push their way forward, but needs. No, no sticky bombs. The amount of rifleman seeing, he has plenty of AT, so maybe a Panzer 4C wouldn't be half, half bad help him lock down sector. But a Panzer 4C around here, and the Pershing will have trouble traversing up here, though I think the Pershing can crush the tank traps. But a Panzer 4C may not be half bad, assuming he has that rather than Hotchkiss. Though to be fair, a Hotchkiss wouldn't be half bad munition sink for the Panzer League player with the upgrades. Our forward supply lines are... The US player has plenty of munitions right now, but he has a lot less. Rocket squad getting annihilated. We got company! Enemy troops! Right fucking there! And when the AT gun has been healed, reinforced, Vision C2. Pershing says engine crit there. AT gun taking some hits. This guy's doesn't really want to work. Like, fine, I will carry the gun. Pershing still has an engine crit there. Helicac could push his way forward. 
M1 AT gun. And Pershing hits both, gets a bounce there. Good hits there onto the M1 AT gun. This is going to fall it back. BP is now being captured on up. Now got the flame engineers falling on back. Good hits there onto the rifleman. And now the rifle squad's falling back. Yep, some threats do take a little help. So do now the Pershing mobile does take a bit of damage there. Now can traverse around. Mortis is draining right there. Hellcat. Not doing much at the moment. Good hit there on the Pants Grenadiers. That's sort of trying to find a shot on the Pershing. Doesn't get to get the uh, rangefinder upgrade. Or was it periscope? So kaleidoscope, whatever it's called. Oh, here got another per uh, not Pershing. Hello, cat. And when he gun some riflemen there. He has just the one in to gun still. Bolt still, especially too. Bounce there. Repairs onto the Edstern now. They've got to get some of the insurance to you. The Pershing just getting repaired on up. But now the use player does have a captain's favor, but has less VPs. Pershing taking more of a beating. Hellcat takes a fan as well. Does roll up a couple bounces there. Hellcat needs to keep his. Keep an eye out, though you can always just use fuel to pair to pop off itself. Hellcat just needs to keep back for a moment until he's ready to charge on forward. He's even been damaged there. Now it's maybe a good idea for the field repair and charge his way forward. Rock Squad is getting suppressed. Pershing needs to fall back. And 180 gun does play health. Now we've got some big cats to engage the small cats. And now it starts using the field repair there. Panther taking a big beating. Rolls a miss there. Gets a pen here. Rifle Squad still don't have X sticky bombs. Does get a bounce there. And one AT gun to report the little cat of Pershing still there. As pets are taking some massive hits there. And one AT gun does get decrewed there. As it does go down, a pet does connect to the hell cap. Does not have enough munitions for another field repair at the moment. Hell cap trying to keep this distance now. Pershing's take a beating, but does have Fetchers C1 now. Hits there onto the Panther. Man got destroyed a crit there on the Panther. Oh, the Panther pushes away forward. Rifle squad charges away forward. Pershing see the bounce there. Sent a bounce there. Sent another bounce. And 1AT gun carry captured. And 1AT gun is pen bounced there. Rifle squad does get wiped on out. Pershing or Panther falls up back. Let's get a double fetch seat there. Pershing still alive and one AT gun rolls a bounce over there. AT gun does get decrewed and almost destroyed. Pershing may want to keep his distance until the field repair is now available once again. He's going for blood and does lose the Pershing because of it. Head sir does take a shot there. Receive the shot there. And does get make does get a death crit there. He should not have pursued that uh, panther. He should have just kept his distance, but not got Yag Panther now on the out in the field. Siri Mortar does connect. With the ground primarily, center. though. Oh, did he just uh, delete some machine gun bunker there? Base is under attack. M8 does take a shot there. A 
Two to two moving around. Still got a flame Keller engineer in this region as point. well as a rifleman. Tank here. Engineer's not repairing up just yet. Tank here. Andy tank crew. The Ready. enemy is down to 300 points. M180 gun trying sir. to find some shots there on the Yag Panther. Rolls a tank miss. Tank Gets a bounce there. And take time to destroy some carcasses. Press Pershing to float on the field. Hellcat still not receiving proper repairs. Pershing rolls a miss. Gets a pen there. That's just trying to fall back there. STG squad pushes his way forward. Pershing does take some shots there. The M180 gun is taking a bit of damage as well as the Pershing. The Ag Panther gets another pen. Pershing falling back. AT gun has been decrewed. Hellcat has been repaired. But he can't charge it forward. There's too much here. The US player does have a capture in his favor, so he can we have a threat to our hold on a little bit. Rifle squad severely wounded right here. The Ag Panther pushes way forward, trying to pick off the pan the uh, Pershing. Rolls a miss there. Howdy. AT gun being focused down. Oh. Uh, looks like the US player back of the game. A little bit abrupt though. This Anne Grade saying thank you for watching and on to the next replay.